Yellow Dino Buddies Stouty here How's everybody doing? Hope everyone's having a good day Is it the weekend now this time? I thought it was the weekend on Wednesday But now it's actually the weekend Yay We're gonna try to Seduce Colonel Sanders for some delicious fried chicken. Yes, we are. Uh, let's see. Let's start. What should our prediction today be? What should our prediction thingy be today? Friends? Hmm. Oh my god, Nightbot. Do we need to get rid of Nightbot? Deleted a message, I'm sorry, Barbaric Kitten, I think you were trying to say something. But Nightbot decided it was... It was not gonna allow that. Dino time! Yeah. Dino time. I'm gonna give Nightbot a bonk. A bonky bonk for being a little too intense. A nice bonky bonk. For being a little too intense. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Alright, I guess let's jump into the game here. I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger licking good dating simulator. Look at those drummies. Look at those drummies. Look at that face. Look at this. Look at this, Colonel Sanders. Look at him. Anybody have any ideas as to what I should make my prediction? Will I seduce Colonel Sanders on the first try? Is that should, what my prediction should be? Colonel Sanders on the first on the first try. Alright. It's too long. Will I seduce Colonel Sanders on first try? Let's see. Dang it! Twitch, why you like this? Let me write what I want to write. Mm. All right. Start. For, oh, how long did I set it for? I don't know. I don't know how long I set it for, but there you go. That's our prediction for today gonna be educational is it is it gonna be educational I don't know might be might learn a thing or two might learn a thing or two I am Saudi confirm oh look at those biscuits look at those drummies make me hungry I think I got tons of food in front of me mm-hmm 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 Kitty cat, stab it. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Okay, so we're a student. We have a modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. That's nice. Oh. Oh. Jeez, or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. <laughs> All right, smack the clock up and at him up and at him we go lying in bed You stare at the ceiling thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of cooking school Academy for learning also it is gonna be educational Maybe we'll learn the secret recipe for a KFC chicken Your mind begins to wander who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you? Uh, all right You'll need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to drive your own thinking. Hmm. 
Gotta be serious. We're gonna be serious students. You better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed. Hair combed. Pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. You can confidently grab a biscuit, start at the door, and head off to class. Just what you needed to get your blood flowing. Look at that biscuit. Delicious. Standing in the quad. In the quad? You gaze upon the magnificent, magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Oh, hello, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Oh, she is so cute. So cute. Good morning, Saudi. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our, rest of our lives? Yeah. Yes, Miriam. Actually, I'm... Because I sure am. Excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Oh, look at her teardrops. You got this. Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents. She's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quick sandbox. It, not just a sandbox, a quick sandbox? Okay. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. But with the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters. Three-day only semesters? This is worse than food wars. I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about a first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. <laughs> Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her mm. Mm. Change the subject? Let's change the subject. I see Miriam like this and frankly quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, try to change the subject to something more interesting. All summer, well, that makes it sound kind of mean. Oh well. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who is enrolled at the school. Yeah, it's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now, what about this mystery student we read about we read about on the school message board? Any new deets? Oh, get this. I heard his name is Harlan, and he's no ordinary student. They say he has powers. He's had them ever since he was born from an egg. He was born from an egg? Is he a chicken? An egg? Like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. But think that thing about having powers it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like I heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. You both sigh thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of fix physics don't dare apply to him. Dreamy. I can't talk. You think I'll be able to seduce seduce Colonel Sanders in the first try here? We'll find out. We shall find out. We sure will. Oh no, what did I do? We will find out. Let's see, okay. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons. Custom engraved? Wow, that's serious. Out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. Why does she spell it like that? She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. Ooh, she kinda hotty. She got some thighs on those thighs. She got some thighs on those thighs. Literally. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken chins. You leave Saudi's chins alone. They're perfectly normal chins. Oh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. She's thick. I like her. I like her. If anyone here knows what perfect chins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Is that her little tongue? Her little tongue? She's sticking out her tongue at me. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. <laughs> uh, what? What is happening? Has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working on his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Ahem. <laughs> Van Van? You rang. <laughs> you rang, rang. <laughs> I'm not sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have just have been just as close as you and Miriam, but 
substantially, substantially more devious. Wait, what is this outfit? What is this? He's got like the apron part of a shirt, but not the shirt under. But then he's got this belt, and his hair is shaped like a star. I'm so confused. There's so much happening here. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend the students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. <laughs> or maybe hire on us, uh, us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just no time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Psh, see you later, losers. So you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Is what? What? Did he just do a toot? Oopsie, I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. <laughs> uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside. This guy doesn't even know his name. Hi, Pop. I'm sorry, so... Are you going to make me hold this door all day? Kitty cat, stop. Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. <laughs> you both shrug your sh shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Is he our teacher? Sprinkles! His name is Sprinkles! That's so stinking cute! Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of USCSAL. Head instructor and see. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. But look at that pose. He's like a little corgi. He's so precious. So precious. Wow, cute dog is our professor. This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. I guess that kind of makes sense. They can smell a lot better than we can. Out of nowhere, wind begins. To... Kitty cats. Uh, out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. What is happening now? What is happening now? I'm chilly. Someone close the window, and then he walks in. He's pretty handsome. Pretty handsome. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. He is pretty handsome. I'm not gonna lie. It's him. It's... That isn't my favorite student. Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts his chronicles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of death suddenly the room is sweltering sweat begins to beat across your brow you feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong and this over here must be sweaty sweats sweats a lot sweaty sweats a lot so creative maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely well dang you two both know my name we were in the same kindergarten class and what is with all your really weird insults Take a moment to clean yourself up. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. This classroom is so hot, hot, hot. Professor Dog settled, steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. All right, all right, let's see. What are the rules here, Professor Dog? Welcome to University of Cooking Academy of Learning. The greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be a really adorable tiny food. Look at those eyes. He's like puss in boots. Look at those eyes. Like puss in boots. So cute. So stinking cute. Yeah. 
Can I make the game a little louder? And me a little quieter? Hello? Hello? Okay, I think I'm good there. Alright, back to it. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Oh. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue, you're on the fast track out of here, young man. You're sure you're even in the right place? Look at that face. Look at that pupper's face. Look at this guy's face. Don't you recognize me? It's my third year in the school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. There was, does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Oh, look at that pose. What a cute pup. Can't even take him seriously. He's just those brushes. Little sprinkles. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. Oh, look at those eyes. You return to see the student sprinkles is referencing what appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen. What? Bzzzt. <laughs> Or, hello, Clank. The class burst into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. What? <laughs> what did he say? I'm so confused. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Oh, no. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never heard had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You have to try and butter him out by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Ooh, a beef treat, a rubber ball, or a chicken snack? Mmm. Chicken. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite? Ooh, sweet. Brownie points, yes. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for a new star student. Dang right. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. <laughs> you see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no you pay no mind to them. If they wanted to, to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Of course, you always have to be prepared to give lots of love to the cute poppers. Look at that. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Saudi, there's still a seat here. Seems that no one has claimed a seat next to me if you're interested. Oh my goodness. Two good options, but which will you choose? Oh my god, the stress. Oh my god. What do I do? I mean, he's very handsome, but that's a little stressful. But that would give us more opportunities for, uh, for talking, hopefully. Oh my god. Oh my god, what do we do? Sit by- Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. Move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. He appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can- Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get the, that feeling of accomplishing something. Look at that pose, sir. What are you doing? And what does this have to do with what we just mentioned? That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. A little off topic. Very off topic. Focus, Colonel. Focus. On me. Me. As soon as you settle into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. What? Yay, a quiz about me. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at a culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. Oh no. Pop quiz already. If what? If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? What? Extremely. Looking at you, Pop. That's right. Okay. Easy enough. 
Horse is to tree as chicken is to drumstick? Feather, sure. That's right. Okay, 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 we got this. This is not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? Comically oversized fork, a meat to ranch spork. You mentioned a spork right here, so I guess spork. What food is best for a broken heart? Oh. Anything that as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Camel meat, pancakes, uh, anything as long as it's prepared with love? Yay! Sprinkle's a good boy. He's talking, he's a talking dog that teaches at culinary. He's the best boy. Yeah. He's the best boy. Perfect score, five out of five. Yay me. Look at me go. Wow, be honest, did you cheat? You look up to see that Colonel Sandals has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. <gasps> there was hearts around him. He likes... Oh my god, it's happening. Hot diggity, Saudi. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just want to apologize for my QC. I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an... Oh, hello, Colonel Sanders. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. <laughs> Everyone cheers. But I... Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said, shh. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. That must be the smell I smelled. Ooh, is he cooking us food already? Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this... Mmm... That smell looks so good. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled huge, high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grim as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. Tell me the recipe, sir. I need it. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What, you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Psha, Nah, my dude. Nah. I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament in case uh, one of these ingredients is poison. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> he looks around nervous to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see that Zinger Ashley is prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Oh, she's gonna be my competition? Why does Colonel Sanders look like such a snack? Why am I so infatuated with such snack? Yeah, he sure he's a whole meal. He's a whole KFC meal. Mm-hmm. An eight-piece, twenty-piece meal, maybe? Mm-hmm. Delicious. Delicious, I tell ya. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Damn it, Ashley. Oh, please. Well, Van Van, the man man. If you don't want any. I'll take his. Well, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. Look at that pose. Look at him. He's beautiful. He is beautiful. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Testing Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another- Ooh, food wars time? 
No one with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment, try and identify it. Colonel's culinary. Swim toward the light. Ah. Uh, savor the moment? Pure heavenly. What a guy. For a man? For a flavor? Are they the same? Smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second? Anything for a fellow chef. Ooh, anything? Anything, sir? You don't know what I mean. What do you know what that means? What exactly was on that chicken? Ha ha ha. How bold to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. No big deal. Look at that. Sir. Sir, you look scrumptious, delicious, scrumptious. It's you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. <laughs> What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't be, shouldn't learning be fun? I cannot talk. You've got moxie. I'll give you that. Looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone and then leaves it. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use... It's something my great grand. What is... What? 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 Wow, you never guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. What? While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Now I'm together for the first time. You figure now is the perfect time to show your personality to him. Neg him to show your own strengths. Wow. Him with a big idea to add an addition that truly slice things up. Be modest but thoughtful. Ooh, I think that worked. I think that was good. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery was perfect. I appreciate the compliment, Saudi. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. Oh. I mean, I know I keep comparing it to Food Wars, but hello. Hello. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh, no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything except maybe kisses to the crowds of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Oh. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Wow, I'm a terrible friend, honestly. I mean, Miriam, you're adorable, but have you seen this man? Have you seen him? I'm sorry. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is, me and you, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> Girl, stay cool. Stay cool. Want to be my partner? Sure, Saudi. I'll prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quite quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. Oh, no. Sorry, Miriam. Two I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. Looks like you have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. <laughs> Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Mm, I think Clank? Clank seems like they would be a good partner. Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay, I already ate. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. That's why we choose Clank. Because Pop seems a little lost. 
Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. <laughs> Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. <laughs> Tissue, I hardly know you. Uh-huh, what? Clank judders and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that is a sign of affection. Oh, See? Perfect partner. Looks like you two will be fine. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. Alright, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Ooh. Steak tartare seems easy enough. It's fancy and you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders. Your grandmother's mashed potato. Ooh. <laughs> I think I have had enough KFC in my life to know the right answer to this one. Mashed potatoes and gravy, y'all. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> this is so dumb. I love it so much. Uh, I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. <laughs> Maybe mashed potatoes. And gravy? I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beat red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. <laughs> I'll go get the potatoes. No, please, let me. Picking perfect produce is a, perf is a passion of mine. Are you jealous, Ashley? Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business, Ashley. Get out of here. Sanders hearts is my business and you better keep your fingers off my man. What? We you just met the guy. This one. <laughs> Not you, my man. Ugh, no jeez, Van Van. Well I'm over here crushing Saudi Dream, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Curtis Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes, who so tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there, Ashley Van Van. Are we working a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no, it looked like Saudi was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. Wow. What a biatch. What a biatch. It's going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also... Should I do voices? Let's see. Let's try. Alright, what's Van Van's voice? Let's gonna say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Huh. <laughs> Doubt it. Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Oh! Excuse me. Ashley. Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick? It just makes sense. Ooh, look at his face. Is he getting angry? Is he going to protect me and defend me? Is he going to protect me and defend me? <laughs> I'm getting too into this. Too into it. Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. Ashley's really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. <laughs> Turn to Karen or Sanders, hunk of hunks in your time of need. Turn to Miriam, your forever bestie who always has your back. Colonel Sanders will surely defend me, right? Hunk of hunks, come on. Let's freaking hope. I'm here to learn and to express myself via cuisine, and that bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? A businessman respects all fair agreements from contracts to handshakes. I took on Saudi as my partner for this activity and I stand by it. Thank you, Colonel. Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Saudi's natural talent or their loyalty. Yes. I don't know how to do a sexy, sexy anime boy voice. We'll see. Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. You look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. <laughs> cute corgi. 
You look down at your station and realize that in the tense of the moment your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed and boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mash texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you to the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy bowl out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Ooh, that looks good. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Oh, he's so pretty. Why is he so pretty? Colonel Sanders holds the spork out to you. You reach out and grab a hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. To <laughs> Irrelevant again, but you know, it's fine. He's pretty. It's fine. <laughs> Together, you dig the utensil to the mashed potatoes and lift the heaping spork full up. And you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the spork full of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid beautiful face. Food fight! Van 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 Van, do something, do something! Scooping up a fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Look at that face. Regret. Hold on right there, Saudi. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you'd both better be prepared to eat that from wherever it lands. Oh, no. Can I have potato face? Van Van, Van, Van rushes back over a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes with gravy. Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce, played in a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, Van Van the man, that's kind of cool. You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have first bite, and you will look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed. It may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Oh no. Oh no. Too late. It has been eaten. I, uh, think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. Oh my god! <laughs> what? It killed him! He's a ghost now! What is happening? Everyone step back, don't take another bite. <laughs> when you look back at them, the result of it is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped up in Pop's mouth. No, Pop! Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then is almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are motionless as statues. <laughs> what? Is he a ghost? Is he actually dead? What is happening here? The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things despite a bit obvious danger has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. Alright. I'm not sure the professor is here making enough money. <laughs> You're the CEO! <laughs> Ghost of student. Uh, hello! Boo boo! What's a ghost sound? Hello! I just turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying suit and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. Sorry you had to go through that. Please let me walk you home. Oh boy. Oh boy is right. Look, he's walking me home, y'all. He's walking me home. Forget this kid. It's your own fault for eating stuff from Van Van. What? Like, for real? Oh, come on. That's my ghost voice. Attempt. An attempt was made. Valiant effort was made. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Oh, this is romantic. It's so romantic. 
Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. We're in day one! <laughs> I guess it's only three days, so things gotta go quick. Colonel Sanders? Yes, Saudi? There's something I need to tell you. Oh my god. Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since, I have been working hard toward that dream. Day and night, never stopping, never resting. Also, lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all of our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Hey! No, I, you... Shut up. I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Are you forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? <laughs> he does look... He does look like a legit... His name is Van Van the Man Man. Van Van the Man Man and his hair is shaped like a star. You can't prove that. Can't I? I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance you hear a long sad sigh. 100% KFC Chocho. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> long poor, poor ghost of the student. These nipples. <laughs> They're amazing aren't they? They're great. I love it so much. Forget him, we're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I am the hero. Oh my god, what is that? Spork, the spork monster is here to fight a hero. Oh no. <laughs> I, uh, I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. How dare you threaten me just as I was letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Well, hello, Brother Rain. Thank you for con contributing to the karaoke stream. Ooh, hydrate. Yes, I should do that. Okay, I'm hydrating. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Thanks for coming by, American. <laughs> hydrating. Lots of talking for this one. How, how dare you threaten me just as I was letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Be afraid. Be very afraid of me. Because I'm a monster, see? Is he rhyming on purpose or is that just a coincidence? But before you can discuss syntax any further, it's a turn-based fight sequence. What will you do? Attack! You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love. One damage. It just got real. That attack really upset Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. He spit hot gravy at you. Rude. You take one damage. Attack! Worked last time, right? Sure. <laughs> Focuses their mashed mind and draws an energy from Mother Earth itself. What? They grow larger and more into how will you respond? Defend? Trepidation? This is not happening, this is not happening. Oh no. Ooh. Attack! Colonel, help me! Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. Look at that face, look at that chiseled jaw. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of 1,000 chickens. Pot pie power pinch. Ooh. Sir. Hello. 
that body though. It does 10 damage. Whoa. Spork monsters defeated. You saved me. An injured spork monster spews steam into the night. Forget mercy. Finish him. Spare this wretched beast. Finish him. This monster messed with the wrong chef. Attack! You never survived my student debt loan destruction. That's too real. That's too real. Looks on in awe. Yes! You continue to surprise me, Saudi. Dang right. Ooh, left behind a special item. Gimme, 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 gimme. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. Open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed is Borco. Borco, that name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completed de completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Oh, am I going to faint? Is he going to have to carry me? Without any energy to keep your eyes, are mis uh, eyes open, darkness overtakes you. He carried me home! Oh my god! The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you are tucked in tightly. He tucked me in. That's so sweet. Good night, my colonel. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders for some reason. Sprinkles is also there instructing your love. Dreams are weird. <laughs> what the heck is happening? <sighs> Were you awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had? Were they memories or premonitions? And then there was that second ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? Probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You need meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um... I think I might like Clank. What? <laughs> like him? Like, like, like? Girl? She, he's a robot. They're a robot. I know it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. I like, like, like him. Well... We got to talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? I mean, is that surprising? Have you seen him? No, but that does make complete sense. Exactly. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to. And was also the convertible that he himself rode. And was also the convertible that he himself rode in at the front of the homecoming parade. I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation there. <laughs> Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy like I am with Colonel Sanders. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking, School Academy for Learning, you're a thing now? We definitely connected yesterday. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sure you did, you're great, well, why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? That sounds doubtful, that did not sound confident, that's just... Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Oh, no. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Your bestie's eyes light up. A secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was wandering. This can't be good. <laughs> he told me all about the passion for spices. Secret spices. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals. And that if I did him a big fla fa flavor, flavor, that food on the mind, I could have some of my own. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice, he even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over to me, and the flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. I think you're being very liberal with the mineral <laughs> meaning of spices here. Oh, no. Was she given... Was she given... 
some some other stuff whatever anyhow we both share an interest in cooking so we stayed in touch you know like pen pals betty would love to know more about new spices well i'm definitely not supposed to share colonel sanders secret recipe besides i only know the one ingredient so i thought it'd be much use to anyone Fibber. <laughs> please, 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 it would mean the world to me. No one has to know I came from you or from Colonel Sanders. What do you think? Should you protect Colonel Sanders? Sure. No, protect. Make up a fake ingredient. It was Eye of Newt. I know, sounds like some kind of witch's potion, but what can you do? I am Newt, wow. Why is I meant such a thing? And you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and you shall move on. Oh boy. However, she immediately turns around and does some typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. <laughs> Before you can ask her to what she was definitely not texting secret to them, she are interrupted. The wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. He's back! He's back! Why is he in a pony? Wait, I was told by Tori to watch out for pony. This is Colonel Sanders arriving at school. Stand back and admire his majestic glory. So Karen Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. Yeah, they said to be careful with the horse, so maybe I won't run up. Meanwhile, she does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on its rear, sending it running free into the countryside. You are so struck by the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. Oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching. Don't worry, he knows his way home. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. What a horse of full beauty you have. I mean, what a horse of full beauty. Uh, dang it. That's what I just... <laughs> oh, sorry. Just gets really nervous around people they like. Oh! Uh, what? I mean, they got food more up all night. It was gruesome. You should see. No! Maybe then. No. Girl. Why? Why you do me like this? Oh no. What are these two up to? Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Uh, why don't you make like a bee and mind your own wax? I don't, I don't think that's how that joke goes, but okay. Tell them to stop acting mature, act like you're not interested, but really try to get a closer look. Tell them to stop acting immature. Calling your school is to be respected. This kind of nonsense is a waste of everyone's time. Now you've upset them. Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules? I'm not sure you'd know a good meal if it ate you. Oh, wrong voice. <laughs> Wasn't reading who was talking. Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary schools. It takes creativity. It takes panache. And it doesn't hurt to you to use a little evil. Any follower. Hello, friend. Crunchy Spooky. Thanks for following, Crunchy Spooky. Appreciate you coming by. Doing all kinds of silly voices right now, trying to seduce the colonel. Uh, you finally get a look at what it was they were hiding. Instant reckon. Oh no. Where did they get? That's the same book I found last night in the quad. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. That book is a family heirloom and its content contents are secret. <laughs> what? We're playing. Hee hee hee. Are you? Beep beep. Uh, hey, watch it, you bucket of bolts. You watch how you talk to him. Didn't do anything. Oh. Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language. Not even from a stand mixer. No, your mother was a stand mixer. <laughs> oh, no. It's getting heated over here. Oh, no. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over me, but I'm not interested in either of them. This bianch. You think just because you got a perfect body, you can just steal my man?
Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena, at least. Or don't. Honestly, why do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. Maybe I can help you with your business plan. <laughs> students, students, please take your seats. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town and my tiny legs are very, very t My tiny legs, his little quirky legs. We're running and running and running and running and running and running. And he's all tired, poor buddy. Oh, you just want to give him all the pets. All your pets. So cute. But I'm here now and I hope you're ready to learn. You <laughs> rub his furry dog belly. Without further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. Which is why in 1776, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. What? But you can't help but drain- Oh no. You miss mo- Oh no. Oh no. Well, Saudi? Oh no. Which item do you want to sample? Dog bits of shimmering glass of water. Are you shimmering pepper? Oh no. Oh no. Mistakes may have been made. My friend. Ooh. This guy again. And to give you an important message. Ooh. You must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny. All you must do is. I was saying to fulfill you, all you must do is- <laughs> Sorry, I think I've still got some spice stuck in my throat. <laughs> it's fine, I'll work through. <laughs> to fulfill- <laughs> The prophecy! <laughs> you must. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Oh no. Oh no, that pepper was the last of its kind and now it's gone forever. Oh. That was not good. No, that's not a good. Not good. Oh my god, these forgers. Today's lunch will be prepared via timed competitive cook off. <laughs> You're on. Bit of lunchtime competition, eh? Count me in to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down on it, then so be it. I'm not the fool, you're the fool, fool. Good one, Van Van. I like your gumption, Saudi. I'll be watching your performance. <laughs> now, now, students, please settle down. This is the lunchroom, not a sport sportsing court. Not at, le at least not until we turn on the timer. Oh no, it's happening. Aru! The hard way builds solidly a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. And that's an original quote by me, in case anyone was wondering. I hope its message lifts you to victory. Like a diamond, I was formed under pressure, and now is my chance to shine. I will defeat you myself. Let's do this. Uh, what temperature does wild boil? I always boil something safe to you. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no. Oh no. Eleven. Eleven herbs and spices. Oh boy. What state of mind offers the most flavor? Trust. Oh no. Get it? I'm a dog. It's never the wrong time for some dog jokes. Okay. Oh no. Father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day you meditate and draw energy from that place. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I got this. What is the sound of success? Silence, sizzling, bubbling. Oh no! 
No. Did we start all over? I hope not. I don't want to start it over. Well. I guess that prediction, that was a... Uh, well, well, no one voted anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Skip, 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 skip. degrees celsius okay cool oh 11 gratitude okay 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 small town no I believe in you, Saudi. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Focus. Uh oh. <laughs> Focus. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Focus, Saudi, focus. Thinking about the colonel is not gonna help me here. Oh. Ouch. That did not end well. At least it wasn't game over this time. Uh oh, one now. <sighs> that does look good. Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Me, 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 me. What? What? Hmm. Uh. No. Get away. Oh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Why does he want to savor it on his mustache? That's gross. My guy. Not cute. <laughs> oh, I have to do this part again? Okay. Shut up, kitty cat. Okay, 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 we got this. Eleven. That's gratitude. Kitty cat, you're in my way. Small town. Uh, bubbling? Dang it. I feel like I'm supposed to. There's no right answers here. He's too distracting with his hunky body. Ouchies. Hmm. 
internalize the rage. Colonel Sanders is probably here to tell you that he and Ashley aren't in love and have decided to get married. <laughs> he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because of your terrible chef and an awful person. Try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixer and that small fire. We should get that checked out. I'm fine. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer. I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life, not just for you, but for all of us. Do you ever think I've never failed at anything before? That's exactly what I think. Well then think again, I wasn't always the man you see before. You're involved in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. Okay, a little braggy. Well, handsome, sure, I was born that way. <laughs> but I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician. Okay. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. <laughs> Passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially humili humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. Lost my business partner to a gunfight. What? I didn't know. People seen my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard and assumed that I've got it all together. Which is true now, but it hasn't always been. I resolved that when I was going to amount to something, no amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. Burning passion. I want us to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My dream, new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Yay! What? Oh no, not again. My twin and I, Gorko, I'm here to avenge him. He's stronger than Borko? Well, we're twins, so not really. We're pretty much exactly equal in him. Why do you ask? Uh. <laughs> you take it back, I would. Can't. Suppose we really don't need to fight. It's just that I've got these pointy teeth and claws. All the better for enjoying tasty foods. Surely you like to eat, don't we all? Of course I do. Jump on this. Ooh, nice. Tame him with biscuits. You were human ones. Well, no, I was a chihuahua. What? What? Magic spell book. Precisely, Borko used to have a copy, but someone along the way have lost it. If you find such a book, I beg you, respect it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life, Saudi. Together, I'm sure we can defeat them. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. Ooh, personal invite. Stepping inside Sander's home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. Looks like you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's just a side dish that I've been tinkering with, trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel's eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy. Both, perhaps? Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new uh, creation to him or keep it a secret just for you? Reveal it. Oh. I present to you my original coleslaw. We're perfect. We're perfect for each other. Listen to the Lux Hideaway. Magnificent. He's all teary eyed from my cooking. I mean, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? <laughs> Ooh, what do we got? Okay. Secret recipe. 
Oh. Can chicken be prepared sashimi stuff? <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> what? I just, he's a baby with a mustache and a goatee. Oh, man. <laughs>
biscuits and chicken. So would you say that we're the perfect match? How presumptuous, but yes. Oh. Flatter. Okay, bye-bye, Brother Rain. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a great day. Posture check, okay. Okay. Sitting up, thank you. And hydrate and stretch. You got it. <laughs> Yay, head pads. Thank you. Stretchies. Stretchies. Bye-bye. Mm. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Yum, 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 yum. Flatter him. <laughs> oh, teary eyed again. And then you're on the verge of tears. And everybody's only answer your friends to run out the door and go home. <laughs> your best friend is there waiting for you. Where have you been? Uh, you did, so did I. I'm good. <laughs> you went on a date. <gasps> Cute. <laughs> Keep your dials turned to polite and respectful. Aww. Whoa, skydiving. What? 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 <laughs> now I went on a day back to back back to Colonel Sam where I spent the night with him. You what? Nothing happened but the emotional connection. Wowzers. Uh, tells you to move on from school. <laughs> oh my god. If being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is wrong, you don't want to be right. That's that's true. Facts. Oh no. <laughs> oh pop. Oh it's great, I'll order you one up right away. I'll have my swirly with sprinkles please. Hee hee, sprinkles is a dog and a treat. You can get your swirly dip too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally the biggest person at the school. There's that horse, Colonel Sanders writes the school, but who would dare pick on such a gentle and beautiful creature? You got some nerve, Saudi, suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. Now you're twisting my words, and I won't have it. Ooh, ouchies. Doesn't look like you can go on cooking like that. Might as well just give up. I'll never give up, ever. Does everyone ex <laughs> He's just intuitive like that. He just had a feeling... Things were going on. <laughs> Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Saudi, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this afternoon. Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail, winning so hard. Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing complimenting her? But what about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? Why does that sound very suggestive? It was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That's a lot of words to say it was bland. Excuse me, Sally, I'm more than capable enough to speak for myself. Wow. Maybe you could tell me more of your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel. I'm always interested in discussing the fine art of fine foods. See you inside, Sally. Oh! Excuse me, what? Rude. Unacceptable. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 let's not get crazy here. Uh, no, no, no. Oh no. <sighs> let's not get this, this wild and out of control. Oh, dang. Anything else not rooted in dark magic? 
Oh no. No, don't do it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Feel something of a dog moment coming up, but I assure you it's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Ungraded work. My, my, Saudi. Were you studying something with cinnamon? You see? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! He's so sad! Oh no! Oh, you think I want to be thrown from a truck to stranger? No, you have to show off your cool kid friends, Jeff and Joan, J and J. Watch this former triangle men as we descend. Triangle is the strongest shape, don't you know? Yeah, well, it doesn't make it a great date. Then take Jeff and Joan with you. You can all hold hands as you pedal down the mountain or off a cliff for all I care. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Birds are completely defright thing considering that he himself is a, has a wheel on that feet is not entirely clear where it came from. Interesting. Intriguing. Oh man. <laughs> Final competition showdown. Hey Miriam, are you okay? Smash a tiny mug spilling several droplets of hot cocoa all over the floor. Oh no. You don't need anyone, that's right. Me and you, we've got to cruise through our finals and hit the carpool lane to Success City. <laughs> right off into the sunset without me? Of course not. Well, maybe sort of, but I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on it and a wrench big enough for both of us and whoever else we want to bring along. If it's not Popper Clank or anyone else you meet today, tomorrow, or this whole year, so what? You're a special person who shouldn't settle for the first someone to show you a little interest some anyhow. Oh. Yeah, nice. I'm tired to head to the arena early to practice a dish. Test of will, test of courage, or test of talent. Uh, quick test of the rest of you have been working at Saudi's famous chicken pot pie. Oh no. I'm mad at you, Colonel Sanders. Get out of here. <laughs> hmm. I was hoping you were here cooking something. I don't know that you get to taste it. Get out of here. Fine, I'll tell them. But you know, I don't know that you get to have any. <laughs> 400 yards. Uh, chicken pot pie with an all butter crust. My nose is telling me something else. Oh no, is it burning? Uh, no, I can smell it's made of a heaping help of TLC. Well, hello, Sparkles! Hi, 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 hi. Welcome. We're flirting with Colonel Sanders. Mmm, that looks pretty good. Final showdown is about to begin. We're doing it. There are no rules. Okay. Or just the dishes that'll push the, you over the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little tiny food. 
Nevin, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something. His original recipe fried chicken. 10 out of 10. I'm good, Sparkles. How are you? How's your day been going? How's the start of your weekend? Hope it's been going well. What? Egg wash. <laughs> Best friend, blaster, blaster. Let's rock and roid. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Shallow personality spatula. Nice, Ashley. Nice. Five dial pressure point chicken cooking technique. What? He's speaking English. A little tired and no money. So, oh, no. Just have a chill weekend. It's fine. Just have a nice chill weekend. Oh. Oh no. You got a book on your own and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take to fight magic with magic? Almost a no. Do it the hard way. Going to do it the hard way. Don't wink at me, sir. I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. I hope you get lots of rest. Lots of rest then. Since you're tired. <laughs> Tiny food, short cook time. I'm actually already done, so I thought I'd help you. So it's sweet, but... Oh no. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I don't know this stuff is you crazy kids and you couldn't really impress me. Mind if I hang out? Oh no. Uh, just a little spork pup. Back in the old country. Oh boy. I fall asleep during scare attacks, and then when I woke up, does it? I got it. You gotta go. Summon extra power from deep down within yourself. <laughs> your hair turns mac and cheese orange as culinary energy flows through your body. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for. Yes, Saudi, you're the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power you'd been summoning me to phase back out. Interrupted my inspiring monologue. Sorry. My hands and my teeth but I've been preparing the entire lives for this. I will show the world my cookery. You begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your body. You know that this, with this power you can do anything. Except turn back town which would be super useful because while you were powering up your chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven it can't be served. But don't worry dear Sally, you may have suffered some sad but it all is not lost. I've been watching you today, and I must say I'm truly impressed. Impressed. Impressed? Impressed. You've been thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. Oh. Okay, maybe you're forgiven. Maybe. Well, but what about your rules? Following the rules has never really been my thing. I follow my heart. <gasps> what a guy. What a guy. Mm. And besides, sometimes it can have surprising effects that surprise their individual efforts. Are you suggesting we combine forces, we can form the perfect food union? Time's up, students. Mm. Chicken tender mac and cheese, buddies. Pop clank? Oh, pop. Oh, silly pop. No, oh, man. Thought a wedgie was a salad. Oh, pop. Just, just, just go, buddy. Just go. 
Franks, Franks, Clank, where did that pressure cooker roll off to? But there's none. Oh no. L problem for another day. Long semester, three days. Time has come for me to eat. Miriam, please step forward. Now describe your dish. I've made tender udon noodles and a savory. Look how tiny it is! It's so cute! Teeny tiny Naruto Maki. I spy a flower in this itsy bitsy bowl. Cute. Please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name? Odd. And I picked myself. And just the tip of his pink dog tongue dip into the bowl. Nom, 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 nom. A plus. Rarely do I taste a dish with as much love poured into it as yours. Yay! Good job, Miriam. Van Van. I made uni over smooth egg custard in an axe hewn urchin shell topped with caviar. Jeez, that is complicated. Complicado. Yes, sprinkles. <laughs> I mean, it's pawn and causing the custard to slosh around. Well, hello, Bob Jones. Thanks for contributing to the terrible karaoke stream challenge. Much appreciated. I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> woof, woof. He doesn't like it. Oh, ow, jeez. Someday, oh, we met. Someday, someday. Maybe I'll keep extending it until it's met. Maybe. Oh no, I can't eat this. I keep pucking my tongue. Oh, poor buddy, disqualified. Someday it will be met. Yes, someday. Maybe by my birthday. December 12th. Maybe by then. Would be fun to do a karaoke at that point. Rejected Van Van does not go gentle. Disqualified for glamour? Don't discount simplicity. Alright, get out of here, Van Van. <laughs> Ashley. I made orange blossom Turkish delight in light rose water syrup topped with fresh merengue and connected by sugar glass. I mean, it's super pretty. <laughs> Indeed, it's quite delightful. However, I'd ask that you please refrain from eating and attempt it to taste it, and it's very fragile, meant to be a display place. Don't eat the food at a cooking school? Got toast in your ears or something? Sorry, I told you it's a display piece. That defeats it. Actually, I must say it is beautiful, however, this is a cooking competition at a cooking school. Yeah, which is why I cooked it and did an extremely good job cooking it, too. I didn't realize that we were having an eating exam. If I wanted to be judged on eating, I'd go to the College of Eating School for the Hungry. I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insisted, but don't breathe too hard. You might disrupt the sugar spiral. If the food cannot be eaten, it cannot be judged. You are disqualified. Rage overtakes Ashley and she finally cannot keep her two-faced routine up. You wouldn't know how no high-end cuisine be cooked you. Oh, man. <laughs> this class gets much more with Yeah. Yeah. You and Colonel Sanders, the final cook, step up together. Two chefs. What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has become something else. Mmm... Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in the room, a little drum roll, please. This thing. My 49 dog years have never tasted something so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passes the class. What? You pass, you pass, and you pass, and you get a pass. How does that work? What? Together, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. That's right. That's right. Even bad guys get to taste it. 
everyone has passed. There were supposed to be more battles, but come on, how could they be better than this one? <laughs> now that the school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students return for one last assignment to get their groove on. Completely rede redecorated in order to serve as the site of the school's graduation. <laughs> it's so silly. Compared to the massive high-tech cooking arena, the humble decor seems downright cute and cozy. <laughs> DJ Dog is in the house! Awawu! You knew that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also a world-renowned turntablist. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? <laughs> Van Van and Ashley tell everyone that they- Ma'am. Ma'am. Excuse you, I mean you, sir. But ma'am. I mean, if I had to pick Colonel Sanders or her, I'm just saying. Have you seen her? She's gorgeous. Oh my god, this guy. It's all a trick to forget you to finally notice me. Oh, that didn't work. Spork monster! Very my new name. Party monster! Maybe things didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found the love in her cooking, and you know she's gonna do great. Red carpet rolls out across the floor, though it's like a Hollywood movie premiere. Who could command such an entrance? It's popped. He's arrived late to the bed, apparently for good reason. You see perched atop his dirty chef's hat. A crown? Welcome back, Pop. I know you weren't able to complete the final exam and accept your diploma, so we had it mailed directly to your father. We figured it was the least we could do for the school's dean. Oh, now I get it. Okay. You're like a rich kid, so it's just like, whatevs. It's Clank! He's talking again. Not of this, is, I'm actually from a faraway planet in another dimension. What? What? Besides, no, obviously, I've just begun to learn who I really am. This isn't the time for me to devote my life to figure out who you are, Clank. Wow, look at her go. I understand, kind of. Humans are weird. Okay, bye-bye, Clank. <gasps> the rose petals, he's here. What? He's in his casual outfit. Wow. This time it's a full meal. Mm. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. The end? Question mark? No, it's not the end. Everyone feasts on the delicious chicken dinner. Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Saudi, what are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. I wonder, might you tell me, what are the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Oh, look at his face. Off the top of my hand, oh, I don't know, a spicy musk, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, just to name a few. It is truly my lucky day. Would you dance with me? That's kind of cute. It's dumb, but it's so cute. <laughs> and once my hundredth franchise is up and running... A spicy musk is alive. That's fair. Understandable. <laughs> yeah, it's not not what I expected. I could have dealt without the the spicy spicy musk. Once my hundredth franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off, and I'll be glad to spend it together with you. What? <laughs> uh, work together. Well, um, I think this is something I just need to do by myself. What? What? Sir. You found a love conundrum but failed to earn Colonel Sandals' respect as a chef? Can you live with only half of him? Will you be able to endure sharing him with this other love, the life of an entrepreneur? I suppose I could enroll in pa pastry school. Along the way, you'll have me by your side. Oh no, that wasn't the best ending, I guess. What did I need to do? What did I miss? I don't understand. 
Oh no. Well, I'm done for tonight, but I must find what. What are the other endings? Oh my god. Well, might have to come back to this game at some point and figure out the other endings. For now, though, kind of short stream. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, let's see. Should we raise somebody? Raise someone. I think I'm gonna head out for tonight. I'll be back tomorrow, though, playing Omori. Playing some Omori. And then I should be back on Sunday, too, at some point. And... And, yeah. I hope to see you guys there. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Just a little sleepy today. Let's see. Who should we raid? Who are we raiding? Let's check. Let's raid. Let's see. Should we do someone different? Um. What is this? Let's see. Who shall we raid? Alright. No. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who we got. Oh, we got someone playing Apex. That might be fun. Let's see. Sure, yeah, let's do... Oh, uh, no. Let's see. <laughs> so many options. Oh, we got someone playing Phasmophobia? Maybe? Sure, let's do that. VTuber Eats playing Phasmophobia. Looks like they're they're playing with someone else too. That seems fun. Let's go raid them. Mm. Thank you guys again for coming by. Let's put on the end 